this is the first video of VOCs as you know VOCs are very important air pollutants so and this is the first part of these uh, VOCs so let's see what are VOCs VOCs are um, or volatile organic compounds are liquids and solids that contain organic carbon which vaporize at significant rate so basically those chemicals that are highly volatile and they easily convert to uh, gas phase or vaporized we call them uh, VOCs so VOCs are probably the second most widespread and diverse class of emission after particulates so as we know we have some um, classifications for air pollutants such as sulfur oxides nitrogen oxides particulates VOCs ozone stuff like that so in other videos I uh, talked about um, uh, sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides so let's see in detail what are uh, VOCs so VOCs are a large family of compounds some of them such as benzene are toxic and carcinogenic and are regulated individually as hazardous pollutants most VOCs are believed not to be toxic to humans but the principal concern is that they participate in the smog reaction and also in the formation of secondary particles in the atmosphere I will talk about smog reaction in another file so VOCs when they react with um, uh, other air pollutants in the presence of uh, sunlight they result in some other secondary pollutants and they are highly toxic so let's see what are the sources of uh, VOCs so these are the national emissions estimates for VOC for 1997 so sources here residential wood combustion chemical and light processing petroleum and related industries other industrial processes solvent utilization voc storage and transport waste disposal and recycling motor vehicles forest fire and wood waste combustion and all other sources for example in um, wood combustion there are some vocs some highly volatile material in wood so when they will combust it some of them are released to the atmosphere chemicals and petroleum and in related industries as you know petroleum uh, crude oil and some other uh, petroleum related, uh, related products they have some portion which are uh, significantly lighter than other products so when i'm talking about lighter it means that there are more volatile so usually uh, smaller molecules with uh, smaller structures that are uh, more volatile compared to heavier cut off uh, petroleum products so lighter products are usually more volatile compared to heavier products so lighter products uh, they tend to volatile much faster so they classify usually in VOCs So the another process, another source of uh, VOC production is solvent utilization and um, VOC storage and transport. So as you know, uh, solvent uh, has been used in different processes. For example, basically in um, uh, paint and resin uh, manufacturing, in ink manufacturing, in adhesives uh, manufacturing. So there it has. Um, use in different kind of industries so solvents are highly volatile and um, when you, you use them in uh, production of for example coatings and paints you need to use lots of them especially for those uh, coatings and paints that they use lots of solvent in their formulation and also this uh, solvent you use it um, in and for cleaning tools cleaning tanks so during the production and cleaning uh, these tools lots of solvents are being utilized and also those highly volatile 
in chemicals during storage and transport we have some um, loss so they tend to uh, especially for uh, for warmer areas when we have um, like hot, uh, hot weather so they tend to uh, volatile much faster so during storage and transport we lose some of the materials too so we have VOC emission another important source is motor vehicles so, you know motor vehicles usually use gasoline and gasoline contains some products that are highly volatile so these are basically the main important sources of VOC as you see here for motor vehicles solvent utilization and VOC and, and storage and transport so basically these are the main important source of VOC production So volatile organic compounds or VOCs are organic compounds that have relatively low boiling point temperature. So it's usually between 50 to 260 degree centigrade or Celsius. So usually those chemicals that have higher vapor pressure, they have lower boiling point temperature. I'm going to explain it in details in another a video but um, keep in mind those uh, chemicals that have higher uh, higher uh, vapor pressure they have lower boiling point temperature and they are more volatile on the other hand those chemicals that have lower uh, vapor pressure they have higher boiling point temperature and they are less volatile so because of their low boiling points VOC often evaporate from materials containing them VOCs are those organic liquids or solids whose room temperature vapor pressures are greater than about 0.01 PSIA and whose boiling points are up to about 500 degree Fahrenheit or 260 degrees Celsius which means most organic compounds with less than about 12 carbon atoms so volatile organic compounds is a collective term for a wide range of compounds containing carbon and some other terms sometimes used the term is usually taken to include hydrocarbons oxygenates such as alcohol and methane 